This is the drive home with Zach and TT for the Mill drive home. We're about to drive home from the den where it finished. Mill nil. Sheffield United two. In the third round of the FA Cup, that's Mill's journey over. And probably the most predictable scoreline in the entire <laughs> FA Cup. I think if you asked 95% of Mill fans what the score was going to be today, I think most of them would have went 2-0 Sheffield United. And it transpired that way. Um, the better team on the day, the better team overall, you know, probably the best team that I've seen in the Championship this year rather than Burnley. Mm. Uh, good travelling away support considering the uh, train strikes today, you know, you know, our home crowd. We, it was yeah, not good. Not good at all. And it was never going to be, you know, it's probably the worst draw we could have got in the... Uh, in the FA Cup but it gives us an opportunity to now focus on the league I always like us prioritising the FA Cup because you know you can't beat a good cup run but we never got going today uh, start to finish thank you very much for your comments on the last video if you don't mind um, stick a like on this one if you're not subscribed we're getting closer to the uh, to 3,000 but we're not there yet so if you're not subscribed get yourself subscribed to uh, the Mill Drive Home we started with Bart in goal a back four of Danny McNamara um, at right back Murray Wallace left back uh, Cresswell and Hutchinson at the back the two central midfielders were Shackleton and George Savile at the attacking midfield three were on the right it was Bennett on the left Vogel Sammer in the middle um, no Bennett played as the that, the Fleming role sorry mm -hmm. uh, George Hanneman played on the right and up front was Tom Bradshaw we, we just didn't get going in the game, did we? Really, It, it was pointless, really. Yeah, we just didn't get going in the game. Sheffield United dominated it. Always, you know, it's one of those games where you're looking at the pitch and you feel like they've got extra players than us. They just seem to pass the ball around so so smoothly. They create um, they created a, a, a chance before before their goal, but the goal was, you know, that's where you look at it. Reg um, regardless of the quality of, of Sheffield United, the, the massive defensive errors for, for both of the goals that we've conceded today. And that's ultimately what, what has got Sheffield United through um, it was a, just a ball into the middle um, played out to, to the right where um, I think it was Jebison that was, was able to then I think Danny McNamara played him on sides you know it's so, so simple they're on about what 45 yards from goals played it right Jebison's uh, run through he's got um, an angle where he's attacking the near post and, and he slots it in at the at the near post to, to make it 1-0 Sheffield United it was a good finish actually like I said it was quick football from Sheffield United that's what they've done better than us today consistently they they moved the ball around quicker than we did um, second goal came about five minutes afterwards it was dreadful defending by Cresswell absolutely he's, he's gone in twice he's gone off of his, off his feet twice to try and win the ball neither time does he do it so that allows um, I think it was Enjoy to run down the bite line mm. he cuts it back um it's a miss hit shot it takes a deflection I think he actually hit it onto his own foot then he, onto the defender and it loops up under the underside of the bar and, and beats Bart um, a freak goal but you know Sheffield United served their two goal lead at that stage we I don't think we really created anything in the first half of, that I can that I can remember um, Zian Fleming came on at half time for um, Bradshaw, Bradshaw. didn't and, really and, make and we, an impact no he didn't and, and Vogel Sammer played up front I felt you know if we try and look at the, the positives I thought uh, Shackleton had a de pretty decent game today yes yeah, good to see Shaq's on the like in the starting line yeah I, I felt like he'd he done alright you know the passing midfield were far too negative far too often we went back um, you know a lot of people have said that about Billy Mitchell but we massively missed Billy in the middle of that pop, yeah. of that pitch today you know him breaking up the play and him part, he, him breaking their line with his passes yeah and we just didn't have that so we, we missed Billy without a doubt um, we created I think they created the, the next chance in the game where again one of their players got to the to the touchline it, it was dragged back and one of their players dummied it and then I think one of their one of their strikers put it into the stands we Tyler Bury came on for Mason Bennett and SA came on. And do you know what? He he played pretty decent. You know, he was willing to, to take on a few players. A couple of couple of challenges on him should have should have uh, resulted in bookings. For some reason, I don't know. The 19 absolutely wipes him out. Um, as he's turned him, I, I don't know how he's not got booked. But it's not it's not going to make any difference to the game. But you know, SA did. You know, I think you know little bits little bits of exciting football. And obviously, Tyler Bury does does one thing where he. 
he, he, get, he nips the ball in front of the defender. He's running through. The defender tries to bring him down, but miss, doesn't bring him down. He then cuts in and, and puts his shot wide right. Just before that, probably the chance of the game and probably our best um, opportunity to score. The ball's c- kind of bundling around the box. Savile passes out to Vogel Sammer, who's got the whole goal to aim for and somehow mm. tries a... No, to be well, he fair... Could have for, he should have aimed for the right side of the goal where there yeah. was more space. And he's aimed for the left and missed. Where the keeper was... Standing, weren't he? Yeah. And he didn't even... And I think that's why he put it also wide. Also, the defender was uh, covering the angle too, so... So he, he, he put that wide and that was our big chance... Um, it's hard to rate Vogel Summer in terms of that's only 45 minutes of playing up front. He, 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 I think he, you know, he held the ball up reasonably well. But you know, if you're playing up front and you get a chance, you you, you have to take it. But that's pretty much all I can remember. My my man of the match today uh, probably was Shackleton. I thought he had a decent game. Although I did like SA coming in. He he, um, he excited me to be honest. What about you? I've, I don't think I can give one today. I, yeah. I just think that we didn't show enough passion. No, we didn't. Um, there wasn't enough for us. The bit, like I said, the best team won. They're into the fourth round. We've got um, who's it? Middlesbrough next week. And then Burnley. No, Middlesbrough and Cardiff. We've got oh. Middlesbrough away, then Cardiff away. Then so, Cardiff away. So two, two, two tough away games, especially Middlesbrough the away. They're they're flying at the moment, so they're going to be difficult. But we'll go again. Um, I think we'll, we'll wrap it up there. There's no point in, in talking for the, no. the, the, the the sake of it. We really, like I said, we really appreciate your support. Thank you very much for watching the Millwall drive home. Sheffield United into the fourth round of the FA Cup. Millwall, we're going to watch the fourth round on TV probably. So um, thank you for watching. No one likes us. We don't care. <laughs>